What's up everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit and we are here on Torque Drift today to look at a street tuned car. Basically I say street tuned because it's a lower pile car. New car. Oh, mic's creaking. A new car that I've been building and uh, definitely been having a little bit of fun with it. It's very mildly tuned so we're going to take a look at that car today and rip it in some tandems and have a little fun with it. A little back to back Torque Drift session. We are going to look at that after we're gonna accept that afterwards but the car that we will be rocking today is that 370z with the body kit big wing matte gray paint it's only got 581 horsepower and like i said i love how this car sounds and looks so it's basically a new street tune car can we buy any upgraded suspension no upgrade suspension is available so we're gonna leave that all how it is just a matte gray paint on some black wheels let's uh accept our sponsorship get some extra money and stuff going on and it looks like we have a bazoo needle skyline and the slab we're gonna hit the slab first in this uh 370z and have a little fun with it street tuned car on x and tires 581 horsepower only rank 34 so we just starting off with this car did a couple battles with it but we are going to uh be using this car a lot more i do love how this car sounds with the stock motor as well as uh how it handles get the birds chirping in the back so we're gonna kick this in the third gear we're gonna let it rip and uh see how we do on our first tandem session for today's episode in this 370 Ooh. and we biffed it into the wall well we got that out of the way so we got the first uh, first crash out of the way, so the rest of the episode will not be crashing. So hopefully we can redeem ourselves in the chase and get a decent chase run. We're going to try and salvage his run as much as possible. Not sure if that's going to happen, but we are going against lower tier drivers. So maybe we will uh, get lucky and he'll biff the wall too. I doubt it, but uh, or maybe he did. Um, not sure what happened there, but I guess that's what's going to happen. So we're going to just uh, try and get a chase here a little bit far back. I'm going to start a little bit further back. It doesn't look like he can he initiates correctly or initiates really that much. He's going to, oh, run into his door. Excuse me. Street, very low powered street cars going on right now. Trying to uh, as many of those tandem points as we can and get as close as we can with this car. We gotta build this car. Oh, I probably should have braked. I'm trying to build this car up and get it in the higher tiers, but I do like the power that it's in for sure. I'm liking these low powered cars, not gonna lie. So we will take the win on that one. And uh, we're gonna go jump into the needle and uh, see if we can do what we can do at Ebazoo in this 370Z. So, what is your favorite horsepower that you like on your cars? I'm liking this around 600 horsepower for these cars. I do like my 1,000 horsepower monsters, but I'm starting to like these 600, you know, 500 to 600 horsepower cars. Looks like we got a Mustang with 479 horses chilling in the back. So let's see uh, how we can do. We're gonna kick this in the third immediately wheel spin kick it in and uh, kick it all the way sideways and try to get as many points as we can we're going on those cones trying to run the line this car definitely uh definitely holding its own for the mild tune that it is can break there get that kick it out try to run that wall don't smash into the wall don't smash into that wall either we're good to go we are good on that run. Very decent run at the needle, 49,000. It looks like we got the Mustang pad 12. I like the Mac Ray finish on my uh, 370Z right now. So it looks like we're going against cars that are just being built. So all these new projects that people are building is what we're gonna be going against. A little late initiation, a little jump drift action here at Evazoo. Followed you right there, that was pretty sweet. 
We're gonna follow you over that grass line too. Trying to follow this man's line as best we can. And we seem to be doing a pretty decent job of following this dude's line. Running a little bit wider there, giving ourselves a little bit of gap, but nonetheless, a very solid chase and a very interesting line. Just, just a grazer on the wall. Oh, we took his bumper off. And <laughs> we took our bumper off. But a very solid chase for the 370Z here on Torque Drift. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all which found in the description box below. We're getting that ranking up there. We're going to run this needle again. Getting the rankings up there. So pretty soon we'll be going against some uh, really high-powered cars probably. But we will see. Definitely got to get some decals on this car. And uh, looks like we're going to go against Josh with 522 horsepower. And looks like a stock bodied S14. A little bit boggy on the start. Not how I wanted to start this run. So we're going to have to initiate in. I probably should have clutch kicked to get more power. But I didn't think about it until then. Long handbrake grab to get back out to that clipping zone. So the car handles pretty well. I definitely am satisfied with the power and everything. Sometimes it doesn't start right on the launch and I have to almost late initiate or reinitiate. Oh, grazed the wall and lost our points. So 26 to 14. So definitely not the high scores that I'm used to seeing in my other cars, but like I said, we are in a low tier car right now. So a little e-brake flick gets us back going. To shade in and we're gonna run this very wide. And uh, we use him to rotate the front of our car a little bit. I'm gonna try and uh, get some tandem points. I'm not sure where he went. There he is. So this 370Z will be probably one of my new favorite cars that I'm gonna be campaigning here more and more frequently here on Tour Drift. So definitely gotta get some decals on there. Gotta represent the sponsors, you know, Energy Innovations being a big sponsor of the channel. As well as Siki Motorsports being a sponsor of the usual suspects teams that I am a part of. So one more time here and we'll probably switch up the track. Maybe take this to the banks of Cali and see if we can actually run Cali banks in this car. I'd be very curious to see if I can actually get a good bank run with this car. Oh, looks like we got a S13, 474. He's got a bunch of sponsors. It should be a pretty straightforward battle as long as we can start off the line good. We did start off the line right away with wheel spin. I did not want to hop over that, but I guess we will take that and uh, try and run this line right up against that cone right on that white line. Hard, hard angle there. Quick flick. Too soon. And I'm gonna have to really stretch it out to get out there. So, grazing that wall at the end, getting those last few clutch points, 53 to the man seven. So this 370, definitely a high class car in the ranking that it is right now. And uh, like I said, Definitely going to be campaigning this car a little bit more here because I do like it. I'm not sure if I'm going to increase the power too much on it. Definitely got to get some different suspension components and some angle kits because we are only rocking an import angle kit and uh, I believe a uh, aftermarket suspension, field suspension, but still got to get those uh, got to get those new parts. It's almost like we're running an outer chase line. Getting points. That was a little bit greasy. Sorry, dude. I feel like I just bumped him out of the way, but I know I didn't actually mess up his line when I hit him. So we're going to go see what other tracks we can run with this 370Z. Maybe go back to the slab and try and get some tandems or see what other track. But I do want to take it to the banks and see how it handles at Cali Banks. What we got? We got Skyline. Definitely always a fun track. Hakone Skyline. I'm going to hit up these tracks with this 370 and then... Uh, Yep, we definitely need to put some decals on this car for sure. Maybe a two-tone paint. Maybe leave it matte gray with black wheels. Maybe paint up some wheels. We got a two, an S14, Namco. So let's see how this car handles the uh, mountain roads of Hakone. 
early flick, getting those wall rides, just missing that last clipping point. Gonna run this out as far as we can. Handbrake, we missed that. Feather off the gas so we don't smack the wall. We will get that wall tap though. Oh, oh, we kind of fainted out, but we were able to not smack and lose all our points, so we will get a clean lead. Not as good of a clean lead if we would have linked everything, but 67 nonetheless. Against a 17. I think we're on a high win streak with this car. Might be trying to get that 40 win streak with this car since we're starting off on such a uh, low tier. Might be able to get that high win streak. Initiated a little bit sooner than he did. Trying to. Ooh, that transition though. Oh, if he would have held that, that would have been sweet. Just use the wall to bump ourselves and he biffs it into the wall. So. Ooh. I feel like we had enough backer on this lead to give us a decent uh, advantage in this one. 88-21. What is our win total? What's our win total right now? We're only five with this car? I lost with this car? When did I lose? Oh, wait. It's barely been battling. That's right. Try it one more time. Then we're going to take it to the banks, shoot the banks sideways, see how it works. 586 in a Subaru BRZ. Low power tandems. Definitely a lot of fun. And uh, very uh, close tandems if you get it right. So we're going to try and get all the clips this time. Maybe link everything. Just a wall tap. We did miss that one. Further off the gas. Feather it off there. Oh, that was too much. I got too greedy on that wall. I was hoping to run that wall and get some more points. But 81 nonetheless against 18. We got definitely just a big advantage going on with this car. It could be because these other people are just starting out in the game and still trying to get used to the handling characteristics. I remember when I first started in the game, it was definitely uh, very interesting trying to get used to it. And now you can take these low powered cars and shred just like the high powered cars here on Hakone or any other track here in Torque Drift. Oh, that was a good run for him until he banged that wall. I do like how this 370Z looks and sounds. So, we're gonna go take, take this car to the bank and see how this uh, car reacts to the bank. Getting as much money as we can for sure. We gotta build up our money again. We are a little bit low on funds. So let's go take the bank. See if we can actually get a decent run on Cali Banks. Haven't been to Cali Banks in a long time since uh, Long Beach is out. So we're gonna use, do the beginning, immediate course. We started at 23, now we're at 272. So let's just. Uh, to see what this 370 can do here on the banks. The low initiation line. It does not look like it has all the power to run that full bank. But I feel like we could make it. I initiated a little bit low, so we're definitely gonna give this another shot. It can take the bank for sure. But I feel like it may need a little more power to handle this bank how I want. So we're going to give this another shot before we end this episode off. Make sure you guys tap that like button. And I do appreciate that subscribe if you are not a subscriber to the channel. I would appreciate the support. Grip up a little bit. Just initiate in. Oh, I was going to say nice and high on the bank. But we were high on the bank until we smacked into the wall hard flick. This car can hard flick very well. Alright, we're going to retry that. I don't want to end the episode off on that. Cali Bank, my kryptonite. You guys have followed the channel for a while, you know. I can get it really good sometimes, and other times it's just it's just not going to work. So we're going to try and get it this time. We're going to initiate sooner. Try and stay a little bit. Nope. Get wrecked. One more try. Third time's a charm, right? 
So like I said, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. And then we're going to flick this car in. That's better, feather off the throttle. That's the nice high bank I wanted until we uh, got a little bit greedy and a little bit too much sauce on that uh, latter part of the bank. But we're going to stretch this car out as much as we can to finish this episode off here for the Street Tune 370 here on Torque Drift. Too much of a too much of a wall bang. So if you guys want to keep seeing Torque Drift on the channel, make sure you tap that like button. And as always, I like to thank you guys for coming back and watching. I wish I could get rid of that, but we're just going to watch it through the back. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I will see you guys next time.